Okay, so new year, new bullet journal. This is a Loistrom 1917 A5 249-page hardcover notebook in the color emerald. It's a little more expensive than my Limon bullet journals, but still has the squared grid paper instead of the dot grid. I still haven't warmed up to the idea of the dot grid yet. I wanted a different color cover than the brown, since that's all I've been using the past two years, but I can't find the other brand in another color, so I'm trying this one out. It has two ribbon dividers and a pocket in the back, as well as stickers you can use to label the front and spine of the book, and an elastic strap to close it. No pen holder included though, and no little tab divider stickers like the Lamome either, which I think I'll miss. I don't know, maybe I'll make my own little dividers sometime down the line. So first up is the 2020 cover page, because hello new year! <laughs> After that, there are index pages, which I'm not sure I liked. I like drawing my own index because I could split it up however I wanted, but these aren't grid pages, so there are only as many lines and sections as they printed, but I'm sure I'll make do. There are quite a few sections, just a little bit less flexible. Starting in on the legend, I decided to go with orange this year. The first thing I noticed is that the grid doesn't go all the way to the top of the pages in this journal. There's a field at the top for the date, which would be fine if this were a normal daily log journal. But in my case, it's a little annoying. But since it's also printed with the same grayish ink as the rest of the journal, if I draw over it, it shouldn't show through too badly, I'm thinking. The quote on this page for this year is, For every minute spent on organizing, an hour is earned. Said by Benjamin Franklin. For the monthly calendar overview, I stupidly forgot that I don't make all the beginning setup sections the same color. I purposely make them different colors. So I'm still using that light orange color here, but I will change it to a tealish blue later. I think this year I'm going to circle important dates on this page in red so I can see them coming up ahead of time if I just glance here. Next are New Year's resolutions. I usually put a quote across from the calendar and then the resolutions go in a different section. But I wanted to save a little paper and see if I could get an entire year's worth of journaling into one journal. So I was consolidating where I could. <laughs> On to the future log pages, I do like the long columns as opposed to the horizontal ones I tried last year, so I'm going back to this style again. I feel like the columns are more conducive to making lists. And I do love lists. <laughs> Every time I try to split up the memories page into one memory for each month or something like that, it never works out. I usually have a few good things happen in one month, or nothing happen at all, or so it always seems. 
So this time I'm just labeling these two pages for memories and I will just draw them in or write them down as necessary. Which makes these pages seem very unstructured and blank and I don't like it, but shush, we, we won't think about that, we'll just move on. Ideas for videos I should make are next. I decided not to worry about books to read or TV shows to watch. I always seem to make really long lists in past years and never actually got around to watching or reading anything or at least very few things on those lists. So it was sort of a waste. Just video ideas this year. Um, I included a TikTok logo because I really would like to try out that platform, maybe possibly, since I missed out on Vine when that was a thing. But yeah, so that is the end of my 2020 setup. Stay tuned for my January monthly setup. Happy New Year, and hopefully we will make 2020 a great one.